All right, guys, welcome back to the Outer Worlds murder on Eridanos. And I kind of forgot what I was doing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, return the formula. He finally got the original. Now it's time to return it to Samuel Hutz. Hopefully, he won't sue you for wasting his time. Hmm. See, and that was one of the things I was wondering, that, like, the quest seems too straightforward. Like, it feels like there's something else that you can do here. I'm glad you're back. The sooner I gain your assistance, the sooner I can leave these miserable outdoors and return to my temperature-controlled office. I'm sure you have questions. We already asked these. I have the original. Here you go. Ah, finally! Where have you been all my life, my darling? You and I will make quite a team, won't we? Your pay, good freelancer. I shall win this case in your honor. Lost the original. Okay. Man, I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Hmm. Alright, so... Enter Rizzo's RR and DD Labs. You have retrieved a Rizzo's RR and DD Lab security card from the picnic site. It's unknown who dropped it. Helen or her mysterious par paramer. But at least you know where to look for your next lead. The Rizzo's Research and Development District Labs in the Purpleberry Orchard. So that is... Over there. Okay. Good. I think it's the only place that we haven't been in this area. Well, we got a light coming from there. Yeah, we explored over there. Uh, let's check these two places out. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Is it just footprints again? No. Oh yeah. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Potting shed. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Oh, whoops. Get out. Parts of this note are illegible due to dirt and crushed purpleberry smudges. The writing you can make out is as follows. Helen, I know I told you I stumbled onto the scoop of a lifetime, but neither of us could have guessed just how deep this would go. Now, some slug from the docks is looking for me, asking a lot of questions. It's time to get out. Do you hear me? Don't waste time packing. Just go. As soon as you read this, you'll know where to meet me. Tonight, 10 p.m. in the Grand Ballroom. If I don't show, Take the next ship out of here and don't look back. B. Hmm. Twenty-three apples. Okay. I'm end up selling a lot of the uh, mods I have because I really don't need most of them. I think that's where we... No, I don't think we've been over there. Let's look down here first. No hidey hole in here like the uh, last one.
You all right? This is the worker break shack. The Dissident Queen, Chapter 2. We've read this one. Alright. Yeah. We have read 1, 2, and 3. Thank you. Oh no! Oh god. Permanently crippled. <laughs> your legs have been damaged too many times and your movement speed has now been permanently lowered. Effects move speed negative 30, you are unable to dodge. No. Hopefully if we find a uh, vendor soon. Ah. Was at this lab too. Oh, Fast travel location. I can feel it. Okay, so that's an inside place. Well, well, I will transition. I mean, show a look around first. Yeah, we've been over there. I guess it was all these guys that were making a uh, that one dude scared. He's still over there. Look at him. DD. Hello? I can hear you out there. If you still possess the majority of your mental capacities, please locate the test room through the lobby and to the left. You'll see me through the glass. Okay. First, I'm gonna loot everything and read this terminal.
Let's see. Rizzo's Research and Development District. Serving the Rizzo family. Reception terminal. Hack 65 to view recent appointments. Uh, let's see. Name Miss Ruth Bellamy. Stage name Halcyon Helen. Description Lab Tour. Name Administrator Ludovico. Description Product Presentation. Got messages from Department Reception to Department Utility. Subject Cleanup Request. Hello. I'm sorry to uh, sorry I haven't had the chance to get your name yet and update the terminal. When you have a moment, could you bring a mop to the lobby? Dr. Blossom seems to have had a rather rough night and spilled some coffee on the floor. Thank you. From L. Blossom to Department, all are RNDD Labs employees. Subject, what in the architect's blue blazes is going on? What in blessed corporate law is all that commotion down there? I don't believe the rocket fuel combination distillery mixture was scheduled for another week. Could someone please inform me as to what that racket is all about. You better have a damn good reason for interrupting my meeting with the administrator. I expect a full explanation and apology within the next 15 minutes or people are going to start losing jobs. Oh, okay, so the, the most recent appointment was Halcy and Helen. That's what we got out of the, uh, the hack. Dead lab guy. Awful. What the dead lab guy? Oh, uh, we're over encumbered. Rizzo's first product. Before Rizzo's was the confectory juggernaut you know and love today, it was an above average chemical waste management corporation. On one otherwise unremarkable day, an employee on the slurry stirring shift leaned a little too far over a chemical vat dropping a single purple berry that had been hidden in his jacket pocket. Instead of being immediately fired for his hazardous incompetence, the employee was given an ultimatum by his supervisor, retrieve the fallen fruit and stay employed. The employee jumped into the vat, swam for the purple berry, and accidentally swallowed it. The rest is history. After he was pulled from the toxic waters, the stirrer stated that the chemical-coated purple berry hadn't been half bad. Before falling into the toxic coma, giving his supervisor the idea to sterilize and adjust the chemical mixture for human consumption. Soon, the sour sweet coated purple berries were more or less edible, becoming Rizzo's first mass marketed product, the Purple Berry Bunch. Well then. Okay, we can sell stuff and break our weapons down. Let's break them down first. For some reason, I like the glasses. Okay, so Adreno. Adreno time. This is the health, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Well, I accidentally sold all of the other stuff, but whatever. I don't use it. I hate that it does that. Fifty mock apples. Whoops.
Well, whatever. I have to only sell one. Because these weigh a frickin' half a pound. Whoops. Whatever. We probably don't. Would never need 99% of them. Okay. Yeah, it's really lighting us up. Okay, just want to make sure I didn't sell some stuff that I don't want to sell. Brain, we always need some brains. Okay, we're good. How in the Aether did you get in here? You're not a Rizzo's authorized. Oh, void it all. What does it even matter now? What do you want? Speak up and quickly if you will. Hmm. I'm investing Halsey on Helen's murder. Was she here recently? Well, we'll go with who are you. Pardon the blue blazes out of me, but who in the name of the Eternal are you? I'll have you know, I am Dr. Leora Blossom, the head of research and development. And you are standing in my lab, uninvited. Now, perhaps you couldn't tell by the empty lobby and general state of disarray, but this is no time to be playing games. Let's see. Something's obviously going on here. You really want to assass me right now? No, you're right. Listen, I'll be direct with you. You see, I've found myself in a bit of a pickle. Some of my lab techs have turned rather aggressive following a recent experiment gone awry. Hence why I've barricaded myself in the lab. Ooh, we have persuaded. There isn't anything you can do to help. Hmm. Yes. I suppose I should make myself useful. Let me think. Ah, I know. I can remotely unlock the supply closets in the lower levels of the lab. Perhaps you'll find some useful apparatus or two in them. Didn't see any hostiles on the way here from the entry door. You could make a run for it. What goes on in these labs? What would turn your researchers against you? They can take care of your problem, but I'll need you to answer some questions afterward. I'll oh, we'll do this one. Oh no. They're quite unaware of their actions, I'm afraid. We're a research and development branch of Rizzo's, focused primarily on the Spectrum Vodka line. But the specific research that goes on in this facility is utterly confidential. You understand. Ooh, Persuade 105. I'll find out when I hunt through the lambs. You might as well tell me up front. So you've no qualms about snooping through my precious research files. But will you understand the data once you've acquired it? Essentially, we research new innovations for an array of Rizzo's products. My present troubles stem from one we've just developed. The product's potential for profit is nearly limitless. But I'm afraid explaining the science behind it would far exceed your capability for understanding. Oh, damn it. Wow, okay then. Now, was there anything damn. else? 150 in science. Excellent. You have my gratitude and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's recent visit as well. Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup, I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. Though it may be the more difficult route, I believe we should make every effort to save the lab techs. They are victims here. The door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. Ooh, how do we not kill them? Deal with the frenzied Rizzo's employees. Oh, 
Oh, I guess I was going to bring the elevator. Alright, so we have terminal. Let's see. Memo. Mind the gas canisters. Hello, everyone. This is your friendly custodial staff offering a preemptive apology if the elevator hall is crowded with gas canisters. There are quite a few of them and only one of me, so I'm moving them in loads down to utility room. Do be cautious. They're filled with a sedative potent enough to put a hungry mama raptodon out cold. Thank you for understanding. After work, bar meet up. Dear esteemed colleagues, my team and I are all heading to the Grand Colonial's bar this evening for some drinking and fellowship. All real scientists are welcome to join us. You know, the ones that produce quantifiable data and theorems and don't spend their time jabbering over how this lighting on that bottle will increase customer sentiment. Cheers from some who understands that market researchers aren't real scientists. Increase protective measures. Team, as we continue our new round of research in product development, I am increasing the required safety gear for lab workers involved. As some of you know, a, recent, a few recent accidents involving subjects have left workers maimed, scarred, and one worker had their left hand permanently discolored to a shade of lime green. Rizzo's Research and Development District Labs is expected to continuously produce revolutionary advancements in the food and beverage industry. These measures will help us in further pursuit of that mission. Dr. Blossom. Where my fellas at? How would that person know? Are they the canisters? No. Oh, oh, that? No. So how exactly would we get through this without killing anybody? So far I haven't seen anything I haven't seen the gas. Like I couldn't pop that. That one uh, canister was just one of those normal explodey ones. I don't know, let me check. Some of the workers in the lab became suddenly violent and asked that you kill or otherwise pacify them. She directed you to a terminal in the utility room that could disperse a sedative gas to knock them out if you're inclined to spare their lives. As usual, violence remains a constant solution, enemies remaining nine. Okay, well where is... I'm guessing that's the terminal room, so we came through there. But 
but perhaps this? That has a biohazard symbol. Not seeing a terminal. Sulfur soap top hat. This top hat once belonged to Captain Thazen of Byzantium, last seen on Terra Monarch, standing much too close to the edge of a sulfur pit. This pungent accessory should serve as a reminder of the many terrible dangers found on Monarch, and a further example of why no self respecting Halcyonite should ever visit. Huh. Okay, so my guess. Is the uh, the way it's trying to make us go with the um, quest marker? Maybe that's the utility room. Free lunch equals best lunch. Yes. So let's go ahead and how's that? See if we can get there without killing anybody. Killing any more people, that is. How would we get over there without them seeing us? Oh, okay. Well, oh, that's barred. Whoops. See, that is pointing right to here. Oh, utility terminal, yeah, but it's, yeah, it's barred. Hmm. So perhaps we have to go... Maybe we do have to go this way to get there. Oh. Should've went up here first, because this is nothing. No way to get around, it seems. Let's see what happens if we go back up. You know, maybe there's another, like... Path. Okay, no, so that one's sealed, that's her. Doesn't seem to be another path. I might just be killing them all.
Me? Can I use on combat? Damn. Hmm. How in the hell? What was this? Uh. I have no idea. How in the hell are you supposed to get over there without killing anybody? Understood. I'll keep my head down. Okay, we have worms in there. I just oh, hello. me. I'm pleased as pie. Whoa, that's a lot of results. No. Okay, well, we killed three. I don't see how we got past those. Okay. Member, new employee orientation. Utility terminal? Welcome, insert name. We're happy to have you as the new mechanic custodian at insert location. It is your responsibility to ensure that your location of employment is tidy and works like a charm. Your duties include, but are not limited to, cleaning, all, all, cleaning of all surfaces, regular maintenance of all machinery, restocking employee break areas, maintenance of all electronic systems, keeping inventory of the location's operational items reserves, voluntarily as voluntary assistance for the lab's research as needed, maintaining thorough documentation for your possible successor. We know that sounds like a lot, but don't worry. Your predecessor has kept thorough documentation for your needs that you can find on this terminal. We hope you're excited to begin this most fulfilling career. And remember, whoa, 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 it's Rizzo's. File, how to be a janitor. Training file corrupted, please guess how to do your job to the best of your ability. Logs, first day. I've gotten 17 requests from the lab workers that I had to respond to and also managed to find time to sweep, mop, and buff this whole place. I was hoping that the employee how-to document would help with some of these machines that I've never seen before in my life, but guess what? The asshole left it completely blank. Gas hookup. I got a request from Dr. Blossom to hook up the gas lines to some canisters that are mixed with a heavy sedative for dispersal in the lower labs. Luckily I've gotten I've got enough experience cleaning all that all the muck that builds up in the vents to get it all done in a couple of days. Still, I wonder what they're needing this for. I think they took the last of the raptodonts out of the lab last week. I guess the pheromone flavoring results weren't as promising as they'd hoped. Experiment participation. Participation. Participa participation. Jackpot. Since I read that stupid orientation document, I've been hoping they'd ask me to volunteer for something, and here it is. I get to be a taste tester for the newest Spectrum flavor. I'm heading to the lab right after I fix the clog in the showers. So exciting. Okay. Well then, let's... Loot up, I guess. Read the other terminal that we skipped.
Damn, he had a lot of stuff. You guys know I do it. Alright, here's the other terminal. View lab notes. Product Innovation Lab. Trial K-08 has produced moderate results. The zero calorie sweetener produces 36% of the amount of dopamine compared to popular cigarette brands. It is possible that this is as far as we can go without introducing substances that would categorize this as a tobacco product, and we're already towing the line as it is. I'm interested in a trial with a larger set of subjects, however our lab's resources are getting cut thanks to the new labs that's lab that's begun across the hall. Maybe we can offer it to our colleagues in the marketing labs, show them a thing or two regarding proper science. Messages. From Department Product to L. Blossom, Subject Lab Resources, Dr. Blossom. I apologize, but I wouldn't be doing the team justice if I didn't answer the budget cuts, if I didn't question the budget cuts this lab has seen. We've had to shelve three products and we're losing two more researchers. Honestly, whatever's being developed in the lab across the hall better be more addictive than Adrena time. From the Product Department to L. Blossom, Subject Marketing Lab, Dr. Blossom. I apologize to our team's outburst at the product presentation. I assure you we didn't intentionally mean to scream and tear and assume the fetal position when Spectrum Brown and its slogan were unveiled. It has to be something the marketing lab did. For law's sake, they aren't even real scientists. From L. Blossom to Department Marketing, Department Product. Subject, stop immediately. I'm sending this message to both teams in the marketing and product labs. I do not know the extent of your squabbles, but they end here. If it weren't for the incredible projections Spectrum Brown shows, we'd all be out of work after that embarrassment at the presentation. I expect more from both departments, Dr. Blossom. From L. Blossom to department, all RR and DD labs employees. Subject, what in the architect's blue blazes is going on? What in blessed corporate law is all that? Oh, we've uh, read this one. Okay, so that's that. Now we do have an upstairs and some more rooms. But first... Okay, that's one we didn't kill. Another terminal. Okay, that's that lab. God, there's so many freaking rooms. Team, don't drink the coffee. I told Blossom we weren't crazy. Every single one of us began to have clinical insomnia, and she tells us it's because we drink too much coffee. Well, it is because of the coffee, or more so what's in the coffee. I had the janitor to swap out the coffee grinds an hour later than usual this morning, and what do you know? I've been asleep all day. Those jerks and product have been messing with our supply. Don't ask me how, I just know it. They think they're so smart because they know how molecules work. Well, they aren't the only ones that can create a chemical dependency. I've got a Pavl Pavlovian prank in place with the Spectrum Brown presentation that'll cause quite the show. Got messages from Marketing to Blossom, Subject Halcyon Helen. Dr. Blossom, 
We're thrilled to hear the news that Rizzo secured Halcyon Helen as a spokesperson for the new Spectrum product. Our data shows she has favorable dispositions in many key categories, including the coveted 18-34, regularly employed ex existential crisis demographic. We'd be happy to show her some of our product advertisements ideas. Um, from our Blossom to marketing stop immediately. I'm sending this message to both teams of marketing and product labs. I do not know the extent of your squabbles, but the end here, if we weren't... Okay, we read that one. Uh, read that one. Okay. That helps me a little bit. Okay, we came from over here. We didn't go in here, though, because we were trying to get to that one room. So they were using these damn slugs for everything. Another terminal. Our discovery. Slug lab. Finally, we finished our first set of experiments on those parasites we harvested from the infected would-be attraction animals, and the results have been... What the hell am I doing? Why am I taking this tone? Who's going to see this, aside from members of the research team? I barely need to mention how beyond completely phenomenal today's find has been. Not only have we discovered why Harold, the system's saddest teacup canid, had his remarkable turnaround. Frankly, I'm amazed no one realized something was already earlier. His cage was only about as large as he was. By the way, Myers, there goes your daily adreno injections theory, you buffoon. But we've also found something that will find me to a vice presidential position in no time. Remind me to devote a bench commemorating the Rizzo semi-industrial exploration team for their for giving their lives to break back the bring back the iridanium gigaseus from the holy caves. <laughs> what? I'll also be certain to devote an even larger bench to myself for finding the birth site of the parasites and ordering experiments to start. I've already been in talks with management about ideas for products that could utilize the parasites' joy intensifying hormones. It's amazing that Slug hasn't looked deeper into this. We may have had to see them the land, but seemingly they haven't disturbed our research site. Well, their oversight is Rizzo's immense benefits. Great job, me, Dr. Blossom. Today's incident. Slug Lab. I'm sure some of you are shaken by the events earlier today, but the, cor the course of science never did run smooth. The benefits of our research are easily worth the potential risks associated. Garcia would most certainly agree if she were still alive. I've talked to Administrator Ludovico about getting setting up some additional security measures in case of another test subject breach. In the meantime, for the love of the architect, do not infect an individual test subject with more than one parasite. The frenetic joy will have to be enough, at least for now. I'm still looking into promotional means, but I think we'll find something soon. Some Rizzo's product engineers have discussed mass-producing the parasites and placing them in some kind of beverage to evenly distribute the joy-inducing hormones. Things, will, things still seem very promising. I look forward to the day when I can leave this backwater facility behind. Dr. Blossom. Gas and test subjects. Slug lab. Blossom requested, demanded, we help the engineering team produce a gas that would target the neural links of individuals infected by Iridanium gigaseus. Well, we did, and it was simple enough. Just isolated a particular cell type only found in the parasites and produced an enzyme that should shock them temporarily into stasis. But you better believe the science, the second it came time to tell the administrator about it, she was the one who had developed the gas, and she was the one who had been primarily working with engineering to get everything together. She takes credit for the initial finding. 
and even after Dr. Garcia's death, which was basically all Dr. Blossom's fault, she still somehow manages to find a way to spin things in her favor. Some of the other researchers were taking, talking about altering the gas not to target test subjects, but to target her, and for it not to render its target unconscious but dead. I wouldn't write this down, but I know Dr. Blossom doesn't read log entries that she didn't write. Tell you, their ideas are beginning to seem more and more appealing. Yeah, messages to department slug, or from department slug to utility subject cadaver removal. At your earliest convenience, the slug lab requires your sanitation services for cadaver removal. There are two bodies at present in the RR and DD labs, one scientist and one test subject. Send a team to move the personnel, personal corpse to the incinerator. After this, please send a hazard team to dispose of the test subject. For highly classified reasons, the corpse can emit certain chemical compounds that are extremely dangerous if mishandled. Please don't skimp on the protective gear. We'd hate to have to hire a separate utility team to pick up the bodies of yours. Good day. From a blossom to all our R&D labs employees. When okay, we keep reading this one. Okay, so she, uh, Doctor Blossom, kind of responsible for a lot of stuff. Rizzo's could have helped a lot of people with all the bits they poured into this place. Yeah, sensing a theme with uh, the companies, huh? Okay, it just goes right out there. RR and DD notes, Lewis. If I may say so, you marketing people are scary. Me and the other engineers are going to want a hundred bits extra each to keep quiet about this. Anyway, the beds are hooked up with the equipment you requested. Should it work fine, sensing when those poor product bastards are in REM, are in REM sleep. Once they are, the Spectrum Brown slogan plays on repeat at a quarter of a decibel, with the recording of people being torn apart by canids on a loop in the background. Extreme morbid curiosity bids that I ask how exactly you procured a recording of so realistic a nature. Self-preservation, however, outpaces that. Just pay me so I can destroy my memories of this interaction with ample application of spectrum. Nobody of consequence. Wow. Not good people. Okay, is that everything? Actually, uh, the upstairs... I've been in there. Been in here. Search everything in here, I believe. So, oh, look. An assortment of adhesive notes. It appears whoever works here uses adhesive notes to stay organized. A couple of the more intelligible notes Rockwell visits to do, confiscate badges done, reprint badges pending, change maintenance locks pending new locks, order new locks done, reevaluate lockdown procedure, update docking authority with new lockdown procedure. Intake bets over under weekly bottles five six twenty one weapons four Okay, so that's they're all the same, okay Okay, so now I just need to here it is the upstairs
doing the... Oh, my law. It's you. Wait. What do you think you're... Oh. Well, this is quite troubling. I can't imagine any scenario where this bodes well for the doctor. That randomly opened. I thought that was her terminal. No notes. Ah, okay, and so this was... Yeah, we've been through all this. Somebody didn't want us talking to Dr. Blossom. Do you think it was Miss Helen's killer? Option to use a scrub amplifier to find additional clues. That's right, I have that. <laughs> the Axonian. Shoot, why does she have this? We've already been to her office, so I don't need that. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Confirmation of discrepancy confirmed. This person is most definitely dead. <laughs> but recently, they were still alive. Same in the body. You sure you heard gunshots earlier, yet the victim's loss of blood is oddly minimal? After much thought, you're unable to just any further details. Search the immediate area. Although you distinctly remember hearing gunshots over the intercom, you don't see any bullet casings. Whoever Dr. Blossom confronted over the intercom, they dispatched her and all four of their these scientists without much resistance. It means they must be well trained, some kind of sharpshooter or adventurer. Did the device find anything? Besides the obvious, I mean. Five kills in and out before we could catch a glimpse of the culprit? I'd expect more blood. I heard gunshots over the intercom, but don't see any casings. The killer might have been in a hurry. I guess that makes sense. If they were after something else. Hmm. Timeline. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. Oh, whoops. There it is. Okay. This is... <sighs> this is Dr. Blossom. Eridanium Jagassia's Slug Research Report 1. Subject, a bunch of slugs. Ugh. These things may well be Rizzo's ticket to the top of the board. But at the end of the day, they still look like my brother would if he ever stopped wearing them. Yeah. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. On the hairy undersides of a teacup canid. Much like my brother who works for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. The backstabber. Suffice it to say that these things are parasites. The canid didn't seem to mind, but it's almost as stupid as my research staff. Good stuff. Oh, whoops. Got some spectrum on the dissection subject. It's fine. Yeah, I think I see a couple sacks in the worm. Might secrete enzymes or poison or something. We'll figure it out later. Starting to see doubles, so I'm going to switch to working on the Gatling. Almost got the spectrum lock done. The hell was that? I thought it was going to be for this thing. matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned.
Wait. Let's go over here first. Body heat readings indicate that the culprit was just here mere moments earlier in the timeline. Hmm. Sam the Great. It looks like a standard ventilation shaft. The dimensions would fit a small framed person, allowing them to enter here. It looks like a standard ventilation shaft to me. Somebody around my size could have crawled in. Wouldn't have been comfortable or, you know, clean. Ventilation shafts usually turn into sprat nests. Examine the fuse box. You see a cut red wire, likely. You think it could have disrupted one of the circuits, perhaps on the door lock regulation system? See that red wire? Whoever cut that wire was trying to disrupt the circuit. They could have sealed the lab doors temporarily. At least until the failsafes kicked in. Hmm. Oh, we have two terminals. The hell? Spectrum Gatling Terminal. Collect all eight variants of Spectrum Vodka. All core systems operative. Weapon requires loaded Spectrum Vodka array to be functional. Spectrum Vodka is just deposited seven of eight. Error, not on. Okay. View lab notes. Ex investigate the storage warehouse inventory logs. At the end of the Spectrum, the Gatling taunts me from behind this glass cage. The infernal void damned thing refuses to work and I know the exact cause. It's me. Why am I wired like this? Why? Whenever I tried to fiddle with the internal s internal sober, I broke parts off, or connections failed to fire, or pieces stuck out of the casing and shorted out other components. So, of course, the solution was obvious. Get at least a little plastered prior to the work period. Every work period, when I'm relaxed, my hands don't shake, and it's so much easier to see where things should fit, or how to bridge certain connections. The problem, of course, is that I also get artistic. Why should a weapon work on mechanics alone? Why shouldn't you have to, say, slot one of every single fucking kind of Spectrum Vodka into the thing before it will fire from the, for the first time? I don't even know if it's tied to the weapon's internals or if it's some kind of lock. But it seems like it should fire and absolutely will not. I have to get one of every kind of spectrum, including black. I can only hope the storage warehouse has had a recent shipment of the entire spectrum, or all this work will have been for nothing. I have to be the dumbest genius this side of Halcyon, Elb Blossom. Okay. What do we have? We have brown, red, green, orange, yellow, blue, and black. So what are we missing? Hopefully not original. Welcome Dr. Blossom. View download confirmation. Ooh, file deleted. Was successfully downloaded to external data cartridge. Report to Administrator Ludovico. Messages from Administrator Ludovico to El Blossom, Halcyon Helen's lab door. Apologies for the late notice, but Miss Bellamy has requested a tour of the facilities while she is visiting Eridanos as Halcyon Helen. Please prepare her before her arrival in the morning. RA. From El Blossom to El Blossom. Subject note to self. Well, Leora, you did it again. At long last, you located a bottle of Spectrum Black hidden in a crevice, a musty shelf space in the storage warehouse last night. That much closer to finally getting the Spectrum Gatlin to work. And what happened? You got all the way back to the water tower before running into a group of primals already diverting themselves with fruits of the fermented variety. One bad blackout later, and there you are, converted in, covered in primal vomit without the Spectrum Black. Get it? together. From a blossom to all our R&D labs employees. Subject, one in the... Oh, we freaking heard this. Files. Error file deleted. Available files. Hack. Parasite findings. Lab terminal. 
Tests involving the parasite Iridanium gigantis, colloquially dubbed slugs, have produced astounding results, even when compared against our most promising methods of producing a brain chemical dependency, the pheromone, the Iridanium gigaseus secretes produces dopamine more efficiently than anything on record. Further tests will continue researching how much of the compound we can introduce to subjects and observe the effect. Despite our less than ideal presentation to administration, the product impressed for two main reasons. As mentioned before, this product will produce that boozy feel-good stimulus like no other, but more importantly, the pheromone's makeup is completely unique, which means there are no regulations surrounding its classification. The idea of a completely addictive product with zero laws surrounding it will, would certainly justify any means. What kind of monster kills all these people over a data cartridge? Who knows? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, black. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, black. But... Wait. I could have swore we... Okay, so violet. Blue, black, brown, red, yellow, uh, green, orange, and yes, yeah, so violet. Okay. Let's see if we can find it before we end this uh, episode. Attention, all personnel. Unscheduled colonization cycle is about to commence. Please evacuate the orchards at this time. Releasing the wasquitoes for colonization. Oh, shit. Cycle is now in progress. Wait. Journal mentioned the storage warehouse inventory logs may have information on the location of Spectrum Vodka shipments. Well, we know we just need Violet. What is that sound? Why am I sure we're about to find out? Oh Seeing it uh, with a swarm. What do you get from it? Nothing. Everyone, all right? I think. I mean, you know, there's not a lot. There's a lot of people that aren't, but you know. Reminder: Wasquitos are aggressive pollinators who have been known to be extremely territorial. Oh. Someone needs to get to hive control to shut down the swarms. Oh, okay. That's what they want us to do. Good thing she's not looking at us because I did not realize I was stealing. Access inventory records. 
Please note, do not attempt to lick any part of the storage building. Most com components contain at least 40% cyanide. Okay. Current inventory. Ask the Nut Hut vendor about Spectrum Vodka. Item Gardener, Auto Mechanical, amount 23 or so, status beat up. Note, Waspitos keep stinging these, breaking their stingers and dying. Should probably keep them separate. Item, mock apples and purple berries, amounts a heck of a lot. Status, hard to count. Notes, do we really got to number every single fruit? We've got more than enough. Item, mosquitoes, amounts, couple hundred highs. Status, real grumpy. Notes, don't get stung by these. Item, spectrum vodka, all colors. Amount, one left. Status, one shipment of the puzzle hedges, to the puzzle hedges. One to the nut hut. Notes, swing by the nut hut with some of my savings later today. Been a long week. View groundskeeper note. The purple berries are growing a heck of a lot faster than the auto mechanicals can pick them. I should be mighty perturbed by what we're wasting, but since I had th that treatment... But since I had that treatment, all I felt is glad about things. Goodness, this promotion sure was a life changer. Speaking of, Rudy, I have a feeling you were reading this. Caught you a couple times peering at me from behind hedges and the like. How about you swing by my shack and we bury the hatchet? I'm a changed man since you recommended me for this promotion. Got a bottle of Spectrum Vodka we can share and a chapter of the brand new Halcy and Helen cereal. You never like that. I got, a, got advanced copies. Come on by, Jacob. View overseeing orchards, orchardist note. Yarbo. I must admit that when your old superior described you as a misanthropic, law-damned, redacted, I did not expect you would ever acclimate to a position so many others have loathed. Productivity is at an all-time high, and what's more, you not only impressed many, vis many visitors with your wonderful attitude, but you somehow seem to get along well with the Waspitos, or at least they haven't killed you yet. I would like to offer you an unprecedented reward, a one-time 15-minute break, to be taken at your discretion. Well done, Yarbo. Yarbo. Overseeing Orchardist Hathaway. What the hell? From H. Carlos to J. Yarbo. Subject hypotheticals. So, Jacob, got a quick rhetorical question for you. Let's say rhetorically that one of the wilderness exploitation reserves keepers got drunk and thought he'd indulge himself in some after hours hunting. Let's say he theoretically released our primals, and those primals theoretically proceeded to beat him to death with his own rifle, then escaped to the orchards. <laughs> Obviously I'm just worrying for the sake of worrying, but if something like that were to happen, and I'm not saying it did, especially since such a screw up could cost me it, my job, theoretically Rizzo's may have tested some of their products on these primals. And these primals may have acquired a taste for Rizzo's booze, booze that I know you have stocked in the orchards. Look, if you see any wayward primals, and I'm not saying you will, please, for the love of the law, send me a message. Huntmaster Carlos. Alright. Okay, so we know where to go for this. So what we're going to do is end this here when we come back. Um, we're going to go to the nut hut and see if we can't find... Uh, the Spectrum Violets. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day and I'll see you. Bye.